Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. It's Crown Jewel Predictions time with three of us. What? I'm Ollie Davis. This is El Fakador, Laurie Blake, and that is the other one, Luke Owen. Welcome to Wrestle Ramble. Uh, well, yeah, the Crown Jewel's actually going ahead, folks. What do we think? About Can that? you believe it? Well, it? well, it's going ahead in Saudi Arabia. I think it's more like it was always going to happen. It was just where it was going to happen, and now we know. Yeah, it's happening in Saudi Arabia tomorrow. I mean, one of the few places where its name actually works, I guess, is the oh, the, yeah. the big decision there, because it could have been Crown Jewel in Minneapolis, and that might not have made any sense whatsoever. <laughs> well, not as much sense, anyway. <laughs> they had an event called Great Balls of Fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they don't care what anything you know, is. That's at least sort of like a, a rockabilly throwback reference that Vince McMahon remembers from... When he was the good still, he was still, no, think, he was still forty at the time. I think Vince <laughs> the Great Balls of Fire was in the charts. I think Vince still thinks it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's what all the kids are listening to, isn't it? He definitely thinks it's uh, two thousand and seven because that is the flavour of this pay per view, and we're kicking off with full name, everybody. The, the World, World Cup, Cup to determine, determine the best in the world. world at the global pay per view event known as Crown Jewel. Yes, uh, known as Crown Jewel. Yes, like we're pretty sure that's what it's called. Tom Phillips isn't. Yeah, but he thinks it's known as Crown We've Jewel. We've heard it. it was the the, the pay per view formerly known as? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because they're okay. renaming it. <laughs> yes. So yes, this is the World Cup to determine the best in the world, featuring stars from Raw and SmackDown, not going head to head in direct competition, of course, because that would be. The Survivor Series. Very silly. But, but it does at the end. It does at the end, but we're ignoring that. Because again, I also think this, like Evolution, this show isn't canon. No. It's not, it's not official canon. It's not tagline canon. Oh, it's, it's, it's one foot in and out of <laughs> canon because some stuff definitely is. Well, we're going to no. create a new Universal yeah, Champion. Yeah, like that's, they're not going to turn up the next day and go, wow, vacant. It's yeah, still it's, the Universal Champion. I but, think they might. But yeah. Braun, but <laughs> so they Braun never have to got, talk of this again. But Braun has got his greatest Royal Rumble Championship. I hope he has that title with him at this show. Do you think he had to leave it in Saudi yeah. at the end of the Greatest Royal Rumble? They were like, no, we're having the belt. We're no, gonna, reckon, yeah. We'll put this on display he's somewhere. Be, he's built a whole cabinet because he's planning to put all <laughs> really the titles. Tall. He's got all the titles he's going mm. to win, but it's just that one title in there at the moment. He just looks at it every day going like, it'll be more, man. And the cabinet is made out of meat. <laughs> yes, the, the meat <laughs> cabinet. That is the meat cabinet. I think everyone who wins championships or the, or the made-up trophies... Uh, afterwards, they go backstage and the crown prince gets to beat them. And he's like, yeah, you did it, crown prince. And they all raise his hand. You're the best in the yeah, world. You're the oh, best. you got him again. <laughs> oh, I'll get you next time. And this is so fun. This is so fun. It's definitely not Qatar that's the best in the world. It's you. Yeah. Right? So how are we going to do this? Shall I say I'm going to give my whole bracket. So Raw and Sp it's like separate sides. you got two... Semi, no quarterfinals for yep. Raw and two quarterfinals for only using SmackDown stars. They will go on. The winners will go on to face each other, and then you'll have a Raw versus SmackDown finals. Yes. I read this was only a last-minute decision. Originally, yes. it was going to be everyone versus everyone. That's yeah. That's what Meltzer and the Observer. Now they're like, let's promote Survivor Series by giving away the Survivor Series gimmick early. Well, the, it's well, not the worst idea in the world. Well, no, Meltzer said as well, putting the, on the, the pay-per-view. The Observer, that the, re the reason why they wanted to do it Raw v Smackdown initially mm. is because the first round match they wanted to do was Cena versus Ray. And like that's what they really uh, wanted to build that up as like a big like big first round match. Like, oh, can you believe how big this match is? Ten years out of date, but it's still a big match, I guess. So we have got Seeing on the summer managed to bury Rey Mysterio now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we have got on the raw side of things, not John Cena, Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Kurt Angle and Dolph Ziggler. And on SmackDown, we've got Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, and the Miz. So you think you know well, your prediction for like how the tournament is going to go. First off, new motion. Mm -hmm. Bobby Lashley is henceforth not John. Not John. Not okay, John. okay, not He's John. now not John Splashley. Yeah, <laughs> not John Splashley. So I think we're going to see Seth overcome Bobby because he's he's got momentum right now, <laughs> like it matters. And Kurt's going to beat Dolph because Dolph's just there to take pins. And then we're going to get Kurt versus Rollins. I think Rollins is going to go over. So Rollins will be the Raw finalist. And on the other side, I think... Uh, Ray is going to win and Miz is going to win having a Ray versus Miz final and Ray is going to win and we're going to get a, a Seth Ray 
final and Seth's going to win, meaning Rey Mysterio will get fired from SmackDown just a few weeks after coming back and flip over to Raw. Because that's the other thing, that's the other stipulation. You're thinking I've stolen your... Cause you this, is the, this is the exact same as what I think. No, I was thinking it before <laughs> yeah, you mentioned you it. I, I mentioned the fact that the stipulation is that the, uh, a SmackDown superstar will have to be fired and have to go to Raw. And this was obviously a brilliant way to then have Ray come back on SmackDown 1000, have it be a really big deal, and then be like, yeah, he's on Raw now, where all the people, all the other people are who Vince likes. I thought that first, though. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Did you? Because you, you were saying beforehand, oh, I'm not sure, I don't care. And then I went this, and you went, I know! <laughs> I was like, so did I! They were completely different. Yeah, like, that's, there's yeah, no, no coincidence there. Booking for booking. So, so I'm saying Seth thing. wins. You're going with Seth versus Ray as yeah. the final, with Seth as the eventual winner. This was actually pointed <clears> out to me in the YouTube comments yesterday on my SmackDown review that I really didn't take into consideration. The reason why this SmackDown stipulation has been added in is because Shane McMahon will be so furious that the person who gets to the final and doesn't win is not the best in the world. But as someone pointed out to me in the YouTube comments, like, well, what does that then say about all the people that lost in the earlier rounds? Yeah. That means they're also not the best in the world. Yeah. Why are they allowed to stay? He should have used this as an opportunity to purge SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> You're all gone. That's You're all it. Gone. We I don't want, care. I've, I want to push Andrade Almas, but you guys keep <laughs> showing up and I can't <laughs> put him on TV. That's why there's no women's matches right now. Exactly. It's all you old geezers. It's all you Randys and your Jeffs yeah. and whatnot. Randy, Randy. So I'm going to go slightly different um, to you lot. I think it's going to end up as Kurt versus Randy in the final Ooh. with Kurt winning and ah. Randy will be the one to go to Raw because I think they'll want to have like a main event guy to go over to Raw and bolster that up. Granted he is a heel but you could just turn him babyface because it's not like he's been acting like the Randy Orton heel we've seen as of late. He's been waiting for years to turn heel. Yeah, but then Roman and got cancer. And they're just flipping back. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, like, you, know, you can't happen. plan for these things. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go with Kurt winning uh, in a Kurt v. Randy final. Mm. What about yourself, Fakador? I still think Seth, and I, th I do think the oh, exact... Think Seth I, funnily funnily enough, I think the exact same thing no, really? as you. Uh, which was my thought initially. Great minds. It's uh, almost like you faked your predictions. Like you, those are imposter predictions <laughs> retroactively put in. I'm going to start pushing figures off the desk if you're not careful. <laughs> Up next, it is the SmackDown Tag Team Championships on the line, which is The Bar versus New Day. Now, we did this last week. We, you said, oh, it's a six man with the tag team titles on the yeah. line. And I said, no, I'm pretty sure it's a tag team match. Now apparently, now what Meltzer wrote in the Observer, now I don't know if this has been clarified on TV, but it is a tag team match, but they can choose any combination of the bar and New Day. So it could be Sho and Cesaro, or it could be Sho and Sheamus defending the belts, and then New Day obviously can pick like they usually do. Yeah, so Sho, Cesaro, or Sheamus. Yes, so Sho, Sho might wrestle, the show might go on. I, well, this is what Meltzer wrote. So maybe they are now a team called The Bar, and they can also have free bird rule. So mm. I wonder out the bar of show. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've been calling them Shomaro. Yeah, the big bar. The big bar. Out of out of Cesaro, Sheamus, and uh, former WCW star The Giant. Mm -hmm. Out of those three, who do you think will be put into the ring for the Crown Prince? Well, I'm going to guess that it's going to be. Uh, the giant with Vince then you know giving us like oh look we did get Andre this time do you think he's going to come out in a singlet oh yeah, I, yeah I'd actually I so. I'd put money on that I'm going to give my prediction well, now. the mop of hair that they've stuck on him yeah yeah. Uh, I, I honestly couldn't care less but I'm going to say the bar retain I so I think it's going to be probably Sheamus and show in the ring yeah I, I think I, Cesaro is probably not as are we well, taking predictions on, on what the lineup? I'm going to go for the actual lineup. That's the actual lineup is that. Uh, what will Renee Young be wearing yeah. winning the, <laughs> on the show? Who, what will she be allowed to a, dress? A lot. I yeah. can tell you now. A yeah, lot. She'll be wearing. She'll be the, She'll be the warmest person in that stadium. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also think the bar is going to win this one because I cannot see. I can't see any championships changing hands beyond the universal title, which probably has to. I can't see any championships changing hands at this show, just so they don't have to bring it up <laughs> at any point in the future. Yeah. Yeah, so on Greatest Royal Rumble, the only one that changed hands 
was the tag titles. The, the tag titles, mm. which were vacant anyway. Yeah. Bacon's got a terrible record. He's had in a bad Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm. I mean, I'm also going to go for the bar. Quite boringly, mm-hmm. like you said, it's too early for a title change. And I think Big Show, Cesaro, and Sheamus need to figure out what their act is first before think, they lose the titles. Do you think they were put together specifically for this show because they want to give it that like nineties, mid two thousands feel? And they were like, Well, Sheamus and Cesaro just aren't mid two thousands, nineties enough. Let's put Big Show with them yeah. to really bolster that up. Potentially. I mean, so so many other creative decisions have been influenced by this show. Uh, but we might even get the New Day cosplaying again. Maybe they'll mm. continue being the brood. <laughs> that be, well, that would, that, yeah. that would do it. The Ministry of Darkness, they yeah. could be as well. Or, yeah. or just the Nation of Domination. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that's, that's it. That's, that's, the, that's probably yeah. The, yeah. the one that wouldn't give the game away. <laughs> Um, so we have got that Universal Championship match. It is Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman for Vacant Universal Championship. What do we think, lads? <sighs> Ollie Davis, I'm going to come to you. Well, first. this this is a worrying one, isn't it? Because I'm pretty certain it's Braun Strowman, which makes me think it's going to be Brock Lesnar. Mm. Because there's money. There's loads of money. Uh, is he? Is he definitely said he's doing something in UFC? I don't, the match hasn't officially been announced, <coughs> but I'm not even sure he's gone into training yet. So I'm assuming he is training, but like I've not heard anything. Well, about he, training. he's 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 a different shape, isn't he? He had the he's beard, di- so yeah, that does yeah. that does suggest some sort of MMA is coming. He is he's Brock training, which essentially just means hunting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. capturing uh, so- wild prey. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> but building an octagon and putting a bear inside yeah. it <laughs> and then shooting it. We all thought Brock was definitely leaving at WrestleMania. Mm. And, and then, look where we he, and then he didn't. Yeah. And then we all thought he was leaving at SummerSlam and then he didn't. Well, that's because money. He yeah. really was. And WWE at have right. a lot of that right now and they've lost one of their, their top guy. Mm. Uh, so, you know what? God, but does Braun Strowman lose again? Just to spice things up. So you're going to say you're Lesnar. Gonna go, you're going with Lesnar. Crikey, you're going with the Beast. Now, it's interesting you say that. Like, sure, Raw does need a top guy, but also they need a top guy that's going to be around. Because mm. what you don't want now is to just, like, Roman's finally won the belt. He's defending it on TV. It's on TV every week. And then the second he doesn't, they're just like, man, now we're taking the belt off TV again. He drops it at Survivor Series, then. You have a okay. big match at Survivor Series, and then he makes occasional appearances not a bad show yeah okay so you're sticking with Brock uh, see now I really should, I should have consulted my wife on this because she is the best at predicting Brock matches uh, but I'm going to I'm going to she with... always choose Brock yes and, and Brock usually he does wins. he does German suplexes she can call it move for move move for move <laughs> Uh, I am going to stick with my initial. Uh, I'm going to go with Braun. I think yeah. Braun is winning the belts here. I think I don't think they want to keep the belt on TV for too long, uh, and I think they're going to build towards a Braun Drew match. However, as you're right, I genuinely forgot Survivor Series was happening. <laughs> so um, there is every chance that Brock could win it and then drop the belt at Survivor Series. I'm going with Braun either Strowman. I think no contest. Oh, you think of vacant retention? Yeah, I think vacant retains. Whoa. For the purposes of never having to talk about this ever again. (laughs) Doesn't have to be in a promo package. Doesn't have to be mentioned. We never have to see a highlight reel of Brock Lesnar's however many universal title reigns down the line where one of them is him in Saudi Arabia. Or Braun Strowman having to have a longer run where they have to sort of skirt around the bit where he won it at Crown Jewel. It's like like the Randy Orton first Mm. title win, isn't it? Like, you know, they can't really show that anymore. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Strowman's first win would have been at this very controversial show. And his and his biggest and his biggest like thing to date is also from another Saudi show. Whoa. Which obviously looks bad in retrospect. But yeah. what if he has like an Undertaker streak in Saudi Arabian shows? Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe undefeated that's it, yeah. in Saudi Arabia, apart from by the Crown Prince. Yeah, yeah, back, yes, back, back backstage. Yeah. Well, that, that's just fans again. though. Lie down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Lie down and earn the money, Braun. <laughs> He's doing that making it rain. Singing, Come on, Braun, dance for me. What? His, his, po- Two, his pockets jingling three. as he gets, <laughs> <laughs> gets up, spilling money everywhere. Um, okay. So, but, so of all, that was probably the most predictable match going in. Yeah. You know, Braun wins. We have all chosen <laughs> different options. Did not see that coming. I found the third option. <laughs>
And for the WWE Championship, it's AJ Styles versus not Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe. He's not John Cena either, He's but not, not that not John Cena. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Now, you and I made an error when during yesterday's Wrestle Ramble, talking about SmackDown, where you and I said, oh, this is the first time we've seen Samoa Joe since, oh, could be Hell in a Cell, could be Super Showdown, we're not sure. Forgetting he was in a World Cup qualifier against Jeff Hardy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he lost. Uh, yeah, and that he, was terrible. Yes, I think he got counted out. And we oh, because of his knee. Yeah, that, yeah. And someone's mentioned in the comments like, "I know you guys like cover a lot, but like, are you really that bad with remembering things?" And like, yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah, really, yeah, we yeah, are. Really are. Really are bad at that. I can't remember people's names half the time. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you quite a lot about New Japan stuff, but WWE, like, they just said, "This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter." Yeah. So my it doesn't my brain doesn't soak it in as much. If you want to ask me like the results from Backlash 2000, I could probably do that quite well. It's but, your party trick. But I cannot tell you what happened on it's SmackDown really boring three weeks party ago. Trick. <laughs> when you've heard the backlash results. Yeah, it's only backlash 2000. <laughs> that one, that one pay per views results. And then the one had a match with Triple H. Oh, God, God no. we've heard it before. Oh, oh, every party. <laughs> um, so, Fake Dog, I'm going to come to you first. Who do you think is winning AJ Styles or not Daniel Bryan, not John Cena, Samoa Joe? Well, because my other two predictions have been we're forgetting about this show as quickly as possible. I cannot now pick Samoa Joe here and have that be like, yeah, and Samoa, unless this is the ultimate heel move and he'll continually bring up Crown Jewel going forward. <laughs> <laughs> but I think AJ, obviously. Because Crown Jewel's the only thing that gets real heat now. Yeah. Yeah, even The Undertaker got booed for mentioning Crown Jewel. Yeah. Edza stopped showing it at Evolution. Let's take it off the screen yeah. because it was being booed so badly. That was a... It's poor choice of thing to do, though, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Like, I was going to say, oh, know your audience, guys. Yeah, know yeah. your audience. Uh, Oliver Davis. Oh, AJ or Joe? I'm going to say well, AJ for I'm, now. I'm going to write that down. Right, jump in. Uh, I'm also going to say AJ. Lovely stuff. Uh, even though typically the rule is the last minute replacement is the one who goes over. This is the WWE Championship picture. AJ's so close to 365 days, mm. actually. Yeah. Uh, like, the. Probably days, not even a week away, because mm -hmm. it was the SmackDown episode about two weeks before Survivor Series last year. He won it from Jinder Mahal. I'll oh, just throw in a spanner into your Survivor Series plans. Uh -huh. Brock can't defend the belt at Survivor Series because it was likely to be a champion versus champion match. Huh. Vacant versus AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for AJ wrestling himself. Yeah. Oh, we have a five star. Match, he, would, he, yeah. would, he would do that. That's the only other guy on AJ's level in WWE. <laughs> is AJ. It would be better than his series with Kevin Owens. Yeah. 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 Well, why did that not click? I, that is one of those. That's one feud where you look back at it and, be, and we were like kidding ourselves, going like, mm. no, I think it was a good match. No, I'm pretty sure it was a good match. Uh, it, was, it, was it was okay. It was okay, right? right? And then you look back and it's like, no, those matches were all pretty bad. Mm. Like they actually botched the finish. A yeah. title change happened. <laughs> yeah. Because AJ didn't kick out. That, that was bad. <laughs> um, so we're all going with AJ uh, yeah. in the WWE Championship match, which brings us to our final match of this prediction show. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Vince. Um, it is D Generation X. Your dad on his uh, second stag do versus <laughs> the Brothers of Destruction. Um, old goths. Old <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah. not even wearing white face paint anymore. They're <laughs> just that colour. And yeah. they just keep talking about The Cure being the best <laughs> band ever. <laughs> Disintegration is a great album. These kids just don't understand. Uh, so it's DX versus Kane and The Undertaker. Two of these men work in offices. Um, one of them is a trainer and the other one is still digging souls and making random yeah, promos yeah. on shows digging he did, souls mm, filling holes <laughs> filling, <laughs> holes, <laughs> filling plot holes with his yeah. rambly promos about nothing uh, let's not forget Kane is an elected politician yeah mm. and he's, he's serving on this show well do you see they made a statement where they literally said WWE made a massive donation and yes. that is why we're doing the show uh, and the donation is going to first responders. Yeah. And because we really want to support our first responders, so I'm going out to do the show. Well, Classic I, politics. I really <laughs> like that, because that was announced back in September. Um, I, like, I I was of the opinion of, oh, well, Kane's doing the show, but like this is it's actually pretty good, because he's getting money for, for the area. That's smart PR decision, and, mm. you know, actually morally kind of better. And then, like, he releases that statement. And that that makes it sound to me like... WWE were going to take away the donation <laughs> if he didn't turn up. Yeah. Because why would you? It's a charitable donation. Yeah. You don't take that yeah, back. Have they made the donation yet? 
I believe so. Do they hold it? I believe so. Uh, I, I could find the quote, but I, I believe I mean, the so. amount of fun runs I've cancelled on. <laughs> 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 and that's what Crown Jewel is. It's, <laughs> the, it's, fun it's, it's the fun run of wrestling. It's the fun run of WWE. <laughs> yeah, well, without the fun. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I was about to say it could be a fun show, but... Anyway. Usually when our expectations are lowered, it trips over them. Yeah. Titus World slide style. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, anyway, so what do we think? DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. This um, is Shawn Michaels's in-ring return. Eight and a half years in the making. Mm. It's Shawn Michaels' this return is. to the ring. And it does feel very sad and a bit deflating. Um, like, I mean, like, okay, let's start with that then. Do you care about this match? I actively do not care. Ollie Davis. I'm a hard no. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a hard no. Um, this will likely main event as well. Yeah, because yes, yeah, the whole show has yeah. been built around it. Um, oh, fake it or I'll ask you first. DX or Brothers of Destruction? Hmm. So who won? Triple H won. That's Super Showdown, yes. Yeah. Showdown. He had to get his win back. It's the most yeah. Triple H thing I've ever Probably seen. Probably has to get his win back. And then that sets up Michaels versus Taker. As that's and Triple other. H versus Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that, they're going to do that in an admin war. <laughs> <laughs> who, can do, who can do the most filing? Who's best on a file of facts? Yeah. Watch yeah, me. The, oh, Watch me work this Rolodex, Kane. <laughs> the problem is, that would suggest they do their own filing, and they yeah, definitely they, they do not definitely do their own filing. Don't. They think... definitely have busty blondes that do filing mm. for them. Now, I think Triple Janet. H is a secret admin nerd. <laughs> He's got all these stationery. It, yeah. Stop it, those are my cut. I used those pencils to dis design NXT logos. <laughs> I was going to say, he must be awful in meetings. You know how people doodle in the corners, mm. like whenever you're in a boring meeting? Ollie knows this all the time. And uh, I, that's what Triple H does, but all of his are like really intricate designs that he's going to mm. give to Roderick Strong as his new t-shirt. <laughs> he's got uh, little pencils, but they're shaped like sledgehammers, and the top, <laughs> yes. the top of the sledgehammer it's is the a rubber. rubber. Yeah, nice. His, his pencil case is a should make these. <laughs> he just gets them out. <laughs> uh, so you're, ga you're going for I think DX. I'm going... F no, I think I'm going for the... Yeah, DX to get the win back, and then to set up the match. Oh, no, that... But they won. Oh, sorry, yeah, Brothers of Destruction to get the win okay. back. Yeah. Brothers sorry of Destruction. Folks. Ollie has a cold. If you remember about this time last year where Ollie Davis was Coffee Davis. Um, <laughs> Coffee it, Davis. And it was just... It, yeah, it was I, the worst. Get prepared because it feels like we're entering back into that territory again. Well, I went it's back to the old enough. studio yesterday. Oh, you think that's what it was? I don't know. It's just... I hope it's not dusty. because the thing you could have got from that studio is very bad. Very yeah. bad. Is Way worse than, than just a cold. cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you could have caught death. <laughs> I'm also going to go for Brothers of Destruction. I think this will somehow also set up a Sean versus Taker match. Um, I mean, f I, 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 I do think it's the Brothers of Destruction, but I just think for the sake of being different, I'm going to say DX. Go for it. Yeah, I'm going to say DX just to be, just to be a different Dennis. Mm -hmm. A different Dennis. Why be Denny different? Why be Denny? Why be Denny different? <laughs> well, uh, you know, we might actually live stream us watching the pay per view, but we need cables to do that, which we don't currently have. So watch this space, folks. Yeah, that'll be our first ever live stream. Oh, you can see, like, how professional are we? Yeah, like we're just. We've got to look at this set. I know, right? But it's baby steps, isn't it? Like yeah. you get the big set, and then you're like, oh, cables. Didn't think of the cables, we did we? Cables. Yeah. 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 So. Well, yeah, we we will uh, we'll be back tomorrow, in some form or another, because we will be doing a crown jewel reaction, uh, wrestle ramble in, in replacement for the Saturday wrestle ramble show because that will be horribly dated, and we're not coming in on a Saturday. We're just staying really late on a Friday. Yeah, uh, I've been Ollie Davis. This has been El Fakador. That's been Luke Owen. Click the videos beneath here for the next thing. Cut a mill. That was <laughs> rambling. <laughs>